Hello everyone, my name is Alex Radu and I'm here for IT World Canada's Tekken Sports today at the Rogers Cup and at the Tekken Tennis Day. And I'm here with Megan Shaika of Staffleets. You're the founder, right? Absolutely. Yes, all right. Yeah. And uh, so we're just going to talk a little bit about analytics today and how that's affecting sports. So uh, do you want to just maybe explain a little bit about what Staffleets is and what sure. you guys are doing? So Staffleets is a sports analytics company. We've specialized in hockey and we collect our own data as well as transform action and provide different types of reports to our customers. And when it comes to sports analytics in general, when it comes to tennis, do you see a lot of analytics at all in that, in that realm? Definitely see analytics. I mean, I think in any sport now, um, you know, people are collecting more and more data. They want to understand their performance, whether it's from your own perspective for training mm -hmm. or to scout out your competitors. Because in tennis, let's be honest, the field can be pretty big and people can come out mm -hmm. of, you know, unranked to beat high ranking players. So how do they do that? How do they understand their competitors more in their matchups? Mm -hmm. I think data is one of the, the best ways to do it the most efficient, efficiently mm -hmm. and to be focused on uh, what you're doing for a game plan. And I know Staffleets works uh, primarily with the NHL. Yes. What kind of stats are you guys looking into when it comes to the NHL? So we collect about 80,000 data points a game. So okay. any sort of movement, any time a player touches a puck, we're collecting some sort of statistic or data point uh, that we can then turn into analytics or create models whether it's trading, evaluation, uh, line matchups, there's all sorts of things that a data scientist can do with this type of data mm -hmm. to help teams and players. And when it comes to tennis, what do you suggest would be the next move for tennis as uh, tennis associations as a whole, Tennis Canada for instance, for you know taking that step even deeper into analytics? Well, I think even just using the data they have now and creating more dynamic visualizations mm -hmm. so that if you're not you know at the Rogers Cup or mm -hmm. you're at home on a second screen, how can you interact and understand the game better? Because I think one of the barriers to tennis is, is the understanding of it mm -hmm. and that the more people get into it, watch it, understand the scoring, the players, uh, the more they attract new fans. So it's using data and analytics, I think, to, uh, to create a greater understanding of the game for not only you know, current fans, but also future fans. Gotcha. All right. Well, Megan, thank you so much. Thank you for having All me. All right. My name is Alex Radu for Tekken Sports. Thanks for watching.